Before 1944, there were three teams in Inverness. That's quite the amount of teams considering the location and size of Inverness itself. The three teams were Caledonian FC, Inverness Thistle and Clachna Cuddin. I hope I'm saying that right. Two of these teams merged to became one and that is now the biggest team in Inverness. However, one remains solo and still goes it alone. Today, I'll be looking around the ground of Clachna Cuddin FC. I am now on the pitch at Clachna Cuddin. I got the name right, real grass, there you go. Proper grass pitch, one of few left in Scotland these days. And yeah, I was just chatting to um, Scott here who works at the club and what a lovely picturesque ground this is. So yeah, these are the original club now of Inverness, I guess you could say, since you know the other two merged, Caledonian and um, Inverness Thistle, now Inverness Caledonian FC of course, and I'll be doing a video on them a bit later, that will probably come out after this one, but yeah, today's video obviously is about Clachna Cuddin, and it was an old Gaelic name, and I believe it refers to a stone whereby the women of Inverness used to go and wash the clothes, would come to the stone and like clean the clothes or dry them on there or something, I don't know, but yeah, something to do with a stone in Gaelic basically, is what this club is named after, and this club is the most successful in the Highland League having won 18 league titles here 18 Highland League titles and look at this this goal seems absolutely massive if I was a keeper they would score past me every single time but yeah what a lovely little ground this is and yeah they're one of the founding members of the Highland League and I'll show you a little bit about the stadium so I think this is a new stand their new dugouts they had a fire last well the kind of last season before it all got cancelled and stuff so now they've got new changing rooms gonna have a look in there in a sec and then yeah there's another stand over there but basically yeah nice grass pitch here they're a very proud club they have an academy here of over a hundred players of uh, different age groups of young kids and uh, yeah they also have a women's team as well I was at a women's game yesterday Champions League match so yes um, yeah a very good well run community club here with a really cool stadium in and around all these houses Look at that. On a match day, if you lived up there, you wouldn't need to pay for a ticket, would you? Now, I believe this stand has the uh, name, the clean sweep enclosure, because during that season, 47-48, they won all the cups available to them. That's what I've just been told anyway. So, yeah, quite a bit of history there that stand holds. <laughs>
So yeah, Clach na Cuddin, what a cool club. They were formed and joined the Highland Leagues back in the 1800s along with other clubs like Caledonia, Forest Mechanics and others. I'm just looking at a few facts about them here and yeah, they've done so well over the years. They've won numerous cups and yeah, the 47-48 season, they won the North of Scotland Cup, the Highland League Cup, the Inverness Charity Cup, the league. They did so well back in those days. And yeah, what a well-run club. And they also do like a lot of lottos and stuff. So do check out their website and stuff like that to support the club. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks so much for hearing the story about Clach and the Cuddin. I'm off, I hope that's right anyway, it's Gaelic, so I'll do try my best. I'm off now to film a video about Inverness Caledonian Thistle, and I'm starting it just here actually. So yeah, I'm about to uh, start filming that vid. So yeah, please do watch that afterwards if it's out yet. If not, go and watch another video. Thank you so much. I'll leave them around my head anyway. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.